The continuous trade of plants between various countries is the main way of introducing dangerous pests that spread quickly into new environments owing to the lack of natural competitors, causing substantial damage both to the economy and to ecosystems. Fire blight is a disease native to North America, which was first recorded in Italy in 1992. It made its first appearance in Lombardy in 1997. Bacteria from the species Erwinia amylovera affect plants in the Rosaceae family. These include fruit trees such as apple and pear, but also many ornamental and wild plants. Hawthorn Cotoneaster, Loquat, Apple. The bacterial colonies overwinter in holdover cankers, open wounds that form on the branches and trunk, in leaf scars or in buds. In the spring, when the temperature rises above 10 degrees centigrade, the bacteria begin to multiply, forming the initial source of inoculum and getting into the plant through natural openings, such as stomata or lenticels, lesions caused by atmospheric events, or pruning cuts. During summer and autumn, there is extensive dieback of shoots, branches, or even whole plants that look as though they have been scorched, hence the name fire blight while cankers also form. Climatic conditions, rain, thunderstorms with hail, cultivation techniques, pruning, foliage irrigation, insects and birds are the main vectors of the disease over short and medium distances. Trade in propagation plants lacking symptoms but with a latent infection has unfortunately proven to be a dangerous vector for spreading the disease to vast new areas. The fight against fire blight is very complex and difficult to implement, as the pathogen is highly aggressive and virulent, especially in agroclimatic conditions that are favourable to the disease, such as those found in the main pear and apple growing areas. The fight is also hampered by the lack of plant protection products capable of combating the disease. The fight is based on preventive criteria such as measures to prevent the spread of the disease and the control of territory through continuous and close inspections of host plants, where outbreaks of the disease are found. All infected plants and all potential host plants within a range of 10 meters need to be destroyed, even if they are asymptomatic. In addition, all phytosanitary measures must be implemented to eradicate and prevent the spread of the disease, such as banning the planting of host plants and the regulation of beehives. To find out more about this disease or to report suspect cases, please visit our websites or email us.